Hello, it's Shots Gaming here, and welcome back to another game review. Uh, sorry, I've been a bit of a loss since the last game review, but today we're doing uh, a different game today. It's not on the 360, it's not on the Xbox One, it's not a PC game. We are doing a PS3 game. Uh, so from now on, uh, basically, I will be starting to do PS3 reviews. Uh, so I'll be doing Wii U reviews. Um, I know so I'll be doing, I'm not going to bother doing like the normal Wii because I don't record on that anyway. I know so I'm not going to bother doing the PS2 because I don't do on that anymore. Uh, because basically there's going to be two PS3 games I'm going to be playing in the future on my channel. Uh, which is this one uh, that, uh, that we're doing right now. Uh, also, the, uh, uh, also we're going to be doing another uh, game on the PS3 which we're going to be doing in the next review. And uh, I might uh, maybe record some Wii U reviews as well. Uh, because because like recording on 360 does get a bit boring, like doing 360 reviews as well. So I'm going to basically wrap up this, uh, this game review series and do some PS3 ones, some Xbox 360 ones. Some Wii U ones and some Xbox One ones. So, um, I hope you guys that understand that. Uh, also, we'll be doing more PC ones as well, uh, but they'll be coming up hopefully in the future because, like I said, there's going to be a lot of games on the PC I will be playing as well than more than PS3 and 360. And today, uh, we're going to be doing MotoGP 15, and I will be doing this on PS3 in the future. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to be starting it on the PS3 yet, but it will be coming up very soon. Let's uh, make sure you stick with that. So, yep, today uh, we are doing a review on the MotoGP 15. Um, I, um, I do have this game on 360 as well, but I don't want to bother doing it on the 360 because. Uh, the problem is about the 360 version is it's quite laggy on there, and I don't really bother playing that on there. I know some Xbox One I got rid of it as well, and so that's why we're doing it on the PS3 version uh, because just because I do actually have it on on this version, and I will be playing it a lot on on this version anyway. Um, so that's why I have got it on this version. So it's called Moto uh, GP15 on the PS3, and uh, and it's going to be a good or not one. So it's going to be the Moto GP15 review. Is it good or not on the PS3? Uh, so basically, I've not played this Moto GP15 for a very long time. It's been a long time since I last played on the PS3 uh, myself, and also played on the game because I've not been on my PS3 for about ten months ago now. I've not been on my PS3 since, and I am going to start going back on it. I am going to start going back on my PS3 because, like, I've got it in my bedroom, but I, I don't really use it anymore. I, I don't know why. I think I just need to start using it a lot more. Um, so, basically, I'm going to start using it a lot to start using YouTube and also just play games I don't film on it. Um, because I just want to start using my PS3 again because I have a lot of time on, like, my Xbox and stuff, but not on the PS PS3. So, uh, I'm going to start by having a lot of time. But, yeah, it's been, like, ten months ago since I last went on it. And, um... Uh, yeah, and I've not been on it since then, so I don't recognise the MotoGP 15 too much, but I'm, I'm going to go into fully details. Um, so it's called a MotoGP 15 on the PS3. So basically, uh, this game is a mo it was a motorbike game, of course, and um, it's, it's actually not a bad game, this one. Uh, basically, I can't exactly remember what I did on the PS3 on it. Uh, basically, I think I've completed, yeah, um, basically, I have completed the whole career mode on it now. Like, literally, the whole career mode has been completed on this version. And um, I, I absolutely loved it. I basically climbed all the way through career. I did some Grand Prix on it. Uh, I also did some time attacks as well on different kind of bikes as well. Um, basically, OC you can be your own rider on this one. You can do your own levels and stuff as well, like of your own bikes. And it's actually not a bad game. I, I think I absolutely love it. Uh, I have been playing it kind of late a lot since, since um, basically when I played it back then when I didn't have a well, I think, when I didn't have a YouTube account. And uh, uh, yeah, when I was playing it um, quite a while ago, I used to just love the game. I used to play it all the time on the PS3. And it used to be one of my favourite games. I just used to keep like keep playing it, and it just used to be one of my favourite ones. I just like loved the game completely, and I just, I just, I just like absolutely loved it. It was, it was actually like really, really good. And uh, basically, like the like the look of the game as well is actually not too bad. Like you can tell where you can look at the screens that look not too bad as well. Um, I, and I just like love love the game. It's, it's just like absolutely brilliant. I, to be honest with you, though, if I was a fact, I would probably not play the game as often to be honest with you because it's one of them sort of games where like it's really really in the old times um and basically when i used to play it before i didn't like used to get used to it a little bit more so i don't really recognize it too much but um it's actually still a really really good game i think i just like love it like with all the riders and stuff as well and also when you start on the on the lane as well uh, because this one used to be one of my favorite um Mo Mo gp 15 games uh, basically this used to be one of my Mo gp games like when i got into um the rossi game and Mo gp 17 and Mo gp 18 uh, because because when they went out i used to play this Mo gp all the time i used to play this one all the time this used to be one of my favorite ones 
Uh, I didn't used to play like GP14 a lot because I didn't really like that one. But like I used to play MotoGP15 that long ago and it used to be one of my favourite games. I used to play about three times a day on the PS3. Um, I think, I think, I think this is when I didn't have my Xbox One, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. I think this is when I didn't have my Xbox, and uh, and this was two years ago now. Um, I'm not. Uh, it's not been since two years. I played it uh, less than that. But like two years ago now, when I didn't use to have my Xbox One, I used to go on my PS3 all the time, and I used to play this. I used to play this Moji play like literally all the time. I used to do a lot of career. Used to used to do a lot of Grand Prix modes on it. Um. I saw a lot of time attack modes on all different bikes, and it used to be one of my favourite ones. Like I just used to play it, like all, like literally every single day. I used to play this one, and it just used to be one of my favourites. I just like literally loved it completely, and it was just um, my, I, I can't really like fault it to be honest with you, but um. It was basically just one of my favourite ones. I just like loved the game. Um, to be honest with you, though, I think that uh, the most important thing I like about this uh, this MotoGP as well is like this one's quite silent. Uh, basically, well, I don't mean about that. I mean by like the uh, the bikes are kind of like soundable as well uh, when you're turning into like corners and when you want to tracks and when you're picking different riders. This one was like really really soundable. Like the bikes were like really. Like really quiet. Uh, the game was really concentrated as well. Like what GP14 was. Um, and it was basically not uh, one of my technically favourite ones I, I really enjoyed, but it was a uh, it was uh, basically a one that I really really liked. Um, and uh, basically, oh, I can't really. I'm gonna I'm gonna quote. I, I can't remember how, how I'm gonna quote this out. But um, yeah, I, I just like just basically loved it when I played on different tracks and when I just enjoyed it. Um, and uh, the most important thing I loved um, of one of these. Uh, of one of these as well is the career mode because like when I probably started career mode on this one like it was it was so long ago when I started career um I can't even exactly remember what I did in that first episode of career I can't even exactly remember but basically I think I just picked like like a bike to start off with um and I basically just started to climb my way up to the championship because I used to I used to do career mode all the time since like since I used to do Grand Prix like Basically, I just used to do uh, the Grand Prix, uh, uh, the career mode, like all the time until I completed it, and that was literally only the one I was actually playing. Like literally, that was under the one I was playing, and uh, basically, when I got used to it, uh, that's when I, uh, I started doing uh, a lot of Grand Prix modes and started to do a lot of time attack modes and all that. And uh, basically, that's when I just started to get like used to the game, um, because like like I said, um, like basically the replay mode was good on this one as well because I used to I used to love going on replay every single time, like on this one, and I used to like really enjoy. The the camera angles of the replay and that used to like really really enjoy me as well like basically when i was doing on cameras and i was doing all different riders uh, basically i was like dancing about on the screen and doing the, doing the replays yeah this was quite a while ago by the way um and I, I, and I just used to just love this MotoGP. It used to be one of my favourite ones so far. Um, it's not technically one of my favourite ones because I've not been playing this one uh, since I'm playing the new MotoGP right now. But like I said, I've not played MotoGP 15 for about over a year now. I've not played MotoGP 15. So I will definitely go, uh, go back to it on the PS3 and I will definitely start playing it again. Uh, because I think when I do the um, uh, when I do the series on it on PS3, I think I'm just going to do uh, Grand Prix and Time Attack mode because I think I've completed the uh, the real life events. And so I've completed the whole career, so we don't. Uh, so basically, don't, uh, um, uh, we don't need to do like another career uh, mode uh, series because like, I've literally just completed all that anyway. So I'm not going to really bother doing that. Uh, so I might just do like Grand Prix or Time Attacks or basically whatever I just want to do. And I think that's what I'm. Um, I think that's what I'm actually going to be able to uh, be able to do. And also, um, it basically is still actually on Xbox One. Xbox One and PS4 it, um, is actually still on the game. Like basically, I think there's kind of a few people that are playing it on the um, Xbox One right now. I know it's on the PS3, uh, PS4. Uh, basically, it's actually still on the PS4. And uh, I, I can't exactly remember if it is. Uh, because the reason why I, I basically got rid of it on Xbox One because I don't want to play it on that version anymore. Uh, because like I said, I did the, uh, the Rossi game and all that. So I don't want to bother having another... Like kind of like another motorbike game, so I decided to get rid of it from there. But I just have it on the on the PS3. Um, but um, yeah, it's 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 still uh, completely brilliant, you guys. And if uh, um, if you've played this MotoGP, please let me know in the on the comments down below if you have played it. Um, and it's actually not a bad MotoGP game to be honest with you. Like I I just just like control it a lot, and I used to just like play it and. Yeah, it was it was cool. I just like really really enjoyed it. Um, and like all the pictures as well on the game, which is quite cool. I think that's like a that's a different game that one. Um, but yeah, apart from that though, it, it's just a brilliant game, guys. And if you guys like it as well, please let me know in the in the comments. Um, 
and it's um it's just brilliant it's just absolutely brilliant um and like basically like all the screenshots are quite cool as well because another uh, important thing i like about this one is like basically there's uh, there's kind of like a lot of things i like on this one which are most important like screenshots like the screenshots on the game are really, really cool like this one with uh, rossi and lorenzo there because uh, uh, because uh, 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 basically, Lorenzo was actually still on the Yamaha uh, back then in MotoGP 15. He was actually still on the on the M1 Yamaha before he switched to uh, to uh, to uh, Ducati. Uh, but um, apart from that, that like all the screenshots, like this one with Dovi as well. I think I might have that as my thumbnail actually. Like that one with uh, uh, yeah, basically that one with Dovi, which is uh, so cool as well. And uh, basically how he's actually handling the bike and how he's controlling it in the game as well. And that is like another like important thing I like, or with like this one with uh, with Rossi. Or that one with with Marquez as well. So basically, there's kind of the, um, like like a lot of screenshots I really, I really, really like on the game, and that is what I um uh, is what I'm going to go for um about MotoGP 15, and that's what makes MotoGP 15 like one of the best games at the moment because like because I don't even like know the game anymore because I've not played it since 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 that year so i'm um, I, I don't actually recognize it too much but i i still know what the what the game is and i still play it and i just still know what it is but but yeah it's, it's just um it's just great you guys uh, like basically when you customize your rider it's like really easy as well i know so when you go into like grand prix and time attacks and when doing the life events as well like basically like all the life events are so cool on the game as well because i think i've completed like yeah i've literally completed like the whole the whole life events at the moment and basically that is so cool as well uh, so i won't be uh, doing any videos on the life events uh, but i will be doing uh, some videos uh, hopefully on the um on the uh, on the grand prix and the time attacks i uh, will be uh, doing uh, some on there uh, but um apart from that um the, the game is just like so good um i can't really recognize it too often but um yeah i think it's uh just so uh, just so good i'm just gonna have a look if there's any more that i just like really know yeah there's that one there with rossi and loris baz because uh, because loris baz he, uh, he basically don't race anymore uh basically he um i think he went to like world superbikes as you know, racing money. It's kind of like this one as well with uh, uh with Marco Mangi because Marco Mangi used to race in this one. Uh, but like I said, he done um yeah yeah basically he done racing uh, in in uh, in that one anymore because basically he um he retired basically as he done uh, he don't race uh, anymore. Uh, but basically like Marco Mangi is really good as well. Uh, basically I used to uh, love Marco Mangi in, in the game. I used to be him a lot. And I know so you can see that Danny Pedrosa doing a uh, doing a backflip as well on his on his Honda. But um. Yeah, basically, there's not really like a lot of information about this one because, like, basically, all the like all the information I'm talking about at the moment might be quite poor. But um, like, basically, like every single um uh, every single of it so far is actually not too bad because like uh, also the other bikes are really cool on this one as well. Um, basically, when you're picking a bike, um, like the bikes like really really smooth and you can you, you can basically like get riders like really really easy on this one. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people play this one before, and apparently, uh, when you get past uh, a rider, it's like so so easy to get past them. So uh, that's uh, another thing that I really that I really like about this one. Because like, I play on like like the easiest difficulty uh, on the on the game, and uh, basically like it's really really easy to get past a whole load of million riders, and that is another thing I really enjoy because. Basically, I've been uh, winning uh, kind of like, like a lot of races on the on the game, and that is another thing I just really really enjoy about this because like basically when you're trying to race on like on the tracks and stuff, which is really, really cool as well, and that is uh, another thing uh, what I just like about the the game because like basically it's one of them sort of games where it's just like completely fast pace and you're trying to win all the time, and. Uh, yeah, that is uh, that is what it comes for at the moment, and and that is what uh, the game literally is all about at the moment, and and that's what I basically love about it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think it's just um, I think it's just great, you guys. I think I just love the game. I think it's just brilliant. Um, and um, like I said, in the future I will definitely come back to it because I actually still know what the control the controllers are on the PS3. Um, as well, so uh, hopefully at some point I will I will go back to it and I'll start doing some more videos on it, um, and hopefully that that should be really cool. Uh, because I'm not sure whether I will do some videos on it. I, I literally don't know yet. Uh, I might have to uh, think about that whether I will do some videos. But um, apart from that, though, like the PS3 is like um, is like one of the not one of like the strongest consoles because of, like there's two like separate versions of the PS3 because I've got like the uh, the I've got like the big uh, slim PS3. And basically not the other one that has a bit of a donkey thing at the, like a bit of a like a donkey thing at the front like what the ps4 has um so yeah basically i've got like that that big massive one that kind of like 
fits in properly with it, with the with that with the um with the game. Uh, so basically, that's the one I basically got, and that's the one that I basically like really enjoy, and that's the one I absolutely like really really enjoy. So um yeah, that's it. Like so so cool. Like basically, like all the screenshots are brilliant as well. You can see those markers as well. But like, basically, like the screenshots are brilliant on this. Like basically, when you like load into a Grand Prix, um, it basically uh, comes up with like a good like good massive screenshot. Um. I uh, basically when you like load into a track, uh, I know that in a, in a, in MotoGP 18 they don't do that anymore. But like basically in this one, uh, basically it used to come up with like loads of screenshots. Uh, basically when you actually load into the um in, into a race, and that is one thing I actually liked about all the previous games is because like basically when it when it loaded up into like uh, uh, like basically a Grand Prix, it basically it comes up with like a picture of basically who who that rider is, and um. That's basically uh, basically another thing that I just really really enjoyed about this one because it was just like so so cool um, as well and then like like Grand Prix like really, really cool just pick any track pick any rider and then time attacks and you do like good times on there as well which is like so so cool and then like doing career mode as well which is uh, completely brilliant as well and I also like online uh, I've actually not tried it online on this yet but I think at some point I'm not, I'm not sure whether I will do uh, uh, I will do any online uh, because another uh, um, another on the Rossi game I'm doing I'm not doing online uh, but another on Mochi Seven. I'm doing online, so I don't, I'm not sure whether I will do any online um, on uh, on on this one yet. I, I don't know, but I might have to think about that. But I'm actually I'm not sure because I do love uh, MotoGP 17 online anyway. So um, I might have a think about that. Whether I'll, uh, 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 basically um, if I will do some online, um, but apart from that, though, uh, I basically will have to. Uh, I will have to basically just think about that um, if I will do uh, any. Um, any any online and then like like I said like the settings on the game is actually quite good where you can basically get like all different like really good settings as well for the game as well um, and that's another thing that I just right really enjoy about the other game and also like basically like Grand Prix like so so good as well uh, where you basically uh, win Grand Prix and you do like rubbish in Grand Prix as well what I've been doing on the game I know so you can kind of uh, basically like win Grand Prix really easily like basically if you're not playing on that sort of difficulty where it's quite like hard or something like that but I, I literally just don't know like basically if you can do like um any sort of that but like basically like the grand prix is like so so cool as well and that's literally another thing that i just like love about um about this one because it's just like so so cool to it to play um and that's what i just uh, really really like about this uh, mochi paper because it's like um it's like completely brilliant and also like this uh, this picture as well basically that's like literally you right now and you against like 24 uh, riders on the on the game, so uh, yeah, that's that's quite cool because like basically like the lap length is so cool as well on the game. Like basically when you're doing like all kind of like lap lengths, that's so cool as well. Um, I know it's like a little bit different than what um, MotoGP uh, like the, the all the MotoGP games are, but uh, basically I actually heard that you can actually basically um, yeah you can actually uh, do um, so I got got got, got a bloody itchy nose for some reason. Um, yeah, so basically you can uh, like do all tracks and you can do all lengths and times and stuff and all that. And that's what um, another thing I just uh, like about it, about the the game because you can do uh, everything on it, uh, which is uh, which is completely uh, brilliant um, as well. And then like all the uh, all the riders. I like so cool as well because um, basically you can pick like a really easy rider like such as Marquez or Rossi and then basically when you're in a race just win the race like really easy uh, because like so what I've noticed on this one is like the AI are actually quite slow on the um on this one and on GP14 they are quite slow and um, hopefully when I um, basically when I when I come back to the game I might be able to hopefully like change the difficulty or something like that but I, I literally don't know but I will be having a think about that, so um, I'll be I'll be still thinking about whether they should actually change the the game. So um, so uh, yeah, so there we go. I think that is going to wrap it up then, since so I don't like uh, that I don't that I don't make these reviews uh, too uh, too long. So yeah, guys, that was my MotoGP 15 review. So I don't know even when I will be going back to this review because, like I said, I've not been on the PS3 for about 10 months now, and I've not been on this one for two uh, for 10 months as well. Uh, so I will definitely go back to this at some point on the PS3, and uh, I might I might maybe do some videos. I I, I might think about it. Um, 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 if I will do some videos on this one and on MotoGP 14, but as always, I'll have to let you know if I will do some videos, and hopefully it should be um 
it should be uh, quite good. But yeah, there we go. That was my uh, my game review on MotoGP 15. Uh, so I will be uh, doing uh, doing a game review on GP 14 as well. Uh, that'll be coming up pretty, pretty soon. And uh, and like I said, uh, once again, uh, that'll be on the uh, the PS3 because uh, because I'm going to start doing uh, some PS3 reviews as well instead of doing uh, Xbox all the time and Xbox One and all that. Uh, so yeah, make sure you stick uh, stick for uh, the whole lot of PS3 games I'm doing, and hopefully that should be really appreciated. But uh, because uh, um, basically because um, uh, there is going to be two games I'm doing on YouTube. But like all the previous games, I'm not going to do it on YouTube because because I don't want to do like all of them. So uh, that's what I will be. Um, that's why yeah, I will be doing. So yeah, guys, uh, that's the end of, uh, of this game review. Um, there will be plenty more of these game reviews coming up very soon. Uh, um, if you've got any more, uh, please let me know in the comments down below. So I think the next one's going to be on GP14, and once again, it'll be on the PS3. And as always, I'll have to let you know. So hopefully, I will come back to this at some point, and I'll, and I'll hopefully play some GP15 and do some videos on it. And hopefully, it should be. Um, a really good one. I really enjoy. But yeah, that's the end of this one. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next review. Bye.